What's going on, family? Welcome back to the channel with open arms. If it's your first time tuning in, hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss this heat when I drop it, man. And also notification bell. That way you get notified when I drop this heat, man. And also like button. That way helps the channel grow. The video reaches more people. All that good stuff. You know, one thing I noticed since I've been doing YouTube, it's really hard to talk without doing all this. You just be, you just be feeling it, man. <laughs> you know, so, but yeah, subscribe, notification bell, like button in that order. I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, you see the title. We talking about holsters today, man. Bravo concealment versus toaster. Which one is better in my humble opinion? Without further ado, Let's get to the review. Before I forget, I want to show y'all that the gun is safety checked. Nothing in the mag. Nothing in the chamber. So yeah, just want to let y'all know that we are good to go. Let's jump on the table and get this video going. All right, right here you see we have the Bravo for the SIG P365, and we also have the toaster profile holster for the SIG P365. This is my gun that I'm going to be using in the video to compare functionality, cosmetics, size, all that, a few different categories that we're going to go by to see which one is better, you know? See how these two stack up. In the cosmetic category, I had to give a slight edge to the Bravo concealment. Even though this is a nice looking holster, got the blue carbon fiber, it's small, you know, has the minimalist approach, but in my opinion, it's just something about this. It just looks a little meaner to me. The black, the two clips, you know, nice sharp lines as far as cosmetics i kind of like the bravo tad bit more as far as size i had to go with a slight edge to the toaster mainly because that minimalist approach you know see it's a little a little less bulky a little less clips they're about the same size though you know as far as like height width maybe about the same as far as like width, you know. But you know, this one has a little bit more going on with the Bravo. So it makes this one a little bit slimmer, just slightly, you know. See, they got about even on the edges, but they got that other little clip coming out. So a little more bulky. And that's hard to say, cause it's actually really small. But that just goes to show you how much smaller this one is. So my hands are pretty small and it's in the palm of my hand, no problem. So they're both small, but the minimalist approach on the toaster gives it the slight edge in the size category. And you know, we all like that nice click to let you know that the gun is secure in the holster. So let's just check out that click and see which one sounds better. Toaster up first. Nice holster. See, that's nice. It's in there good too. That's what you want to hear. It's in there good. So yeah, toaster with a nice retention click. Yeah, that's good. Let's see how that Bravo does. Not much click at all. It just kind of slides in, you know, like, see, like it ain't. Uh, gotta give them a slight, they gotta, they're gonna have to take an L in this category for the nice, it's in there though, but you just don't really hear that click. It's weird. It just kind of slides in. I could make it, but it's not really a click. It's just like a, see? See, it's, but it's not a click though. 
it just kind of slides in. You know, it's not like, see, like this one, it clicks, it's, it grabs it. See, barely touching it. Bam. When you come to the Bravo, I'm gonna do the same thing. See, it just like slides in. And that's funny because I got a Bravo holster from one of my other guns, and it's probably one of the loudest clicks I've ever heard. But on this SIG holster, it's just a little uh, non-existent. Whenever I push hard, you can hear a, a click, but it ain't that that securing click. It's more of like a just a the gun tapping the tapping the end of the holster. That's what it sounds like. That's all it is. It's not really a click though. See, like, I don't know. But yeah. In that category, I gotta give the slight edge to the toaster, baby. And as far as the adjustable retention, if you know anything about Bravo, you know you, on these, you cannot adjust the retention. It's actually already at a good setting, you know? So the fact that you can't adjust it is not necessarily a negative, but it still would be nice to have though. But hey, at the end of the day, as long as it's in there good, you know, I don't have to adjust it. So, but on the toaster, I can adjust it, you know, right there. It's just a nice feature to have, you know, depending on what I'm wearing, I might want to adjust the retention a little bit. So in adjustable retention, I got to give another edge to the toaster. Now for comfort, it's really close. The only slight con for the Bravo in comfort, it would have to be this little sharp edge right here, if you know, you can't really, might not be able to tell on camera, but it's kind of sharp. And I remember one time I was carrying appendix and it was kind of poking me somewhere that you don't like to be poked, <laughs> you know? So just that little edge. But if you move it to the right a little bit or to the left, whatever you prefer, that takes care of that problem. So I would have to say it's a tie for comfort. Okay, now we're gonna get into printing see which one hides the best. Toaster up first. Got the side kick on this one. I'm gonna do appendix first. And I wore a white shirt because I feel like with a black shirt, uh, it's kind of easier to hide with a black tee. So I wore a white because you can see printing a little bit better through white. So that way no holster be able to, is able to cheat. There we go. You know, it's a, it's a 365, so it's really easy to hide. It's a micro compact, so, you know, it pretty much disappears. And that's with the toaster. See, you can see like that, but nobody's ever gonna notice that. So that's it, appendix. Let's try three o'clock. See that? Let's see. Pretty much disappears. Let me see. See it a little bit, but if I don't do that, yeah, nobody's gonna notice that. That was the toaster. Next up, Bravo concealment. Appendix carry first. See, like I said, it's a 365, so it's pretty easy to make it disappear. See, nobody's gonna notice that ever, unless they're giving you a hug. Let's try the three o'clock. All right, that's the three o'clock. Can you see it? See it? It hides pretty good. Oh yeah, I see a little something right here with this one. With this one, it just kind of sticks out a little further with 
this little gap in between right here. See, so that's kind of forces you to be able to see this right here. That's with the Bravo. Let's look at that again with the toaster. I want to see where you're able to see that hand grip as well with the toaster sidekick. Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad I did that. Hmm. I feel like I think the toaster hides it slightly better because I noticed that with the sidekick on it, there's less room right here between my pinky. I can't get it in as far. It doesn't stick out quite as much. So the butt, the hand guard is, the grip is kind of a little bit closer to my body with that sidekick on it. I gotta give the, the toaster a slight edge in the print category as well. Appendix, they're about even, but at that three o'clock with that sidekick on it, it kind of pulls it in a little bit closer to my body. That way that little piece doesn't stick out as much. That little thing right there. I guess it does actually work a little bit. <laughs> now let's look at ride height. See how high do they ride on your waist? This is the toaster. Let's say I'm gonna draw. Okay. Got a little bit of space right here. So, not the best, but I'm able to kind of get a decent grip. So let's check out the Bravo for the ride height. I think this one might be a slightly a little bit higher because I'm able to get a better grip. It's not as close to my body because on this side, on this toaster, I got the side kick. It's holding it into my body a little bit, which is makes it a little more difficult to get my thumb in between my skin and the gun. But on this one, I have a little more space back there. I'm able to come in and get on it. Fine. Ride height is about the same on both holsters. But with the toaster, with that sidekick, it holds it closer to my body. So that kind of makes it slightly more difficult to grab it and get a firm grip because the gun is against my body. But with this one, it's more at a natural position. I have a little bit of a gap to where when I come up, I can get both, I can get a full grip on the gun and go ahead and draw. With the toaster, I kind of have to kind of fight my thumb in between to grab it and then pull because it's so close to my body. So yes, this hides it better, but whenever you go to draw, it's not as easy because it's so close to your body. So yeah, I guess it has its pros and cons, but, but the kind of not being able to get a firm grip as fast, eh, I don't think it'll cause too much of a problem. So I would still give the slight edge to the toaster. So as far as adjustable cant, both holsters, you are able to adjust the cant. It's just with this one, you just loosen up the screws and move it how you want, you know, bringing the gun more that way or more that way or even, you know, personal preference. And with this one, you can adjust the cant with both clips on, you have to remove this clip, which will enable you to adjust the cant that way or that way. But in order to do that, you just have to remove that clip and ride with one clip. And they, that's how you adjust it. So both of them have adjustable cants. I had to give them a tie on each one. And as far as the price on these two bad boys, the toaster, it's a little on the pricey side, right around 60 to 75 bucks, depending on what print you want. If you want the basic black print, it'll be on the cheaper end. It's closer to 60. But if you want the carbon fiber look, different colors, that's where you're gonna get to more like 75. And for the Bravo, I got mine on sale about, I think I got mine for like 40 bucks. But I think the normal price is like $53, somewhere around there. So these are definitely cheaper 
than these. But I think the overall functionality, I would give a nice edge to the toaster. This is good enough though. You know, if you want to just want to spend 50 bucks, you'll be just fine with this one. So just an overall functionality, I would have to give the slight edge to the toaster. So this is my chart, how I scored each holster. You know, for cosmetics, I gave the slight edge to the Bravo. Size, I gave a slight edge to the toaster. Functionality, they both function pretty well overall. Stability click, I gave the slight edge to the toaster. They have the adjustable retention, so I gave the edge to the toaster. Comfort, they're both equal in comfort, slightly equal. Print, I gave a slight edge to the toaster only because the sidekick pushes it into my body a little bit better. Ride height, they're about the same. And the cant, they both adjust. I gave a each a point for the cant. Price point, 50 bucks on the Bravo, 60, 70 on the toaster. So I gave the Bravo a slight point on that one for being a little bit cheaper. And still, overall, a good holster as well. But overall, when you add up the tally, bam, toaster, in my humble opinion, is slightly better. That is gonna be it for this review family. I hope this video helped, whether you're on the fence about purchasing a toaster or a Bravo, wrong way, or a Bravo. You know, two good holsters in my humble opinion. For me personally, I give the slight edge to the toaster. If you like this type of content, gun content, hit that subscribe button because I got plenty more heat coming, man. And also notification bell, that way you get notified when I drop this heat, man. And also, like button helps the channel grow. I do want to grow. So yeah, greatly appreciate it. Make sure you tune in to the next video because it's going to be some real deal, holy feel heat, man. I got something under my sleeve, man. Tune in to the next video. Until next time, family, we going to holler.